What's going on guys, Max here. Today I'm talking to you guys about luxury and exclusivity. You guys don't wanna miss this video. Let's go. Welcome to another video, Max Forte here. If you love to smell great, make a great first impression, you know this is a great place to be. Today we're talking, as you saw from the beginning, exclusivity meets high-end luxury items. When price point is not an issue, these fragrances will definitely fit the bill. And we're talking Raja Parfums, which is synonym with high class, luxury, the most sought after fragrances, or one of the most sought after fragrances amongst other money can buy. Roja Parfums is well known for being groundbreaking and both breathtaking because it combines old world classic elements and accords uniting with modern components and notes. So in other words, guys, these top five here are fragrances that I feel are a perfect gateway or segue into the brand. These are my current favorites, they could change. But a lot of people ask me, hey Max, I'm looking to get into Roja Parfums. This is a kind of video style that I'll be doing for you guys more often. So they wanted to know what five fragrances do you recommend so I can get my feet wet, so to speak, into this brand. And I think these five here will be perfect because it's gonna give you a well-rounded collection from all different ends. So let's hop into the choices, shall we? Starting off here with an easier fragrance to like, and I'm gonna move into darker territory for the ones that are going to be a little bit more daring, if you will. So the first pick here is Elysium. Uh, from Roger Parfums, and Elysium is going to be a very likable, fizzy, effervescent, uplifting, and fruity type of a fragrance, very easy to like. Most people compare this to a take on Aventus, or Roger Parfums take on an Aventus-esque kind of a fragrance. And I could see that, but it's not a clone by any way, shape, or form, and I guarantee you that, guys. I think that Nishanese Hashivat is a lot closer to Aventus than Elysium. I think Elysium does a very well you guys know that fragrance brands have their signature touch, and Raja has his signature touch. I get a very beautiful note of ambergris here, just like the kind of, you know, ambergris that you get with Creed fragrances, but I also get a very nice Ambroxan here, and even though Ambroxan is kind of, you know, heavily used these days in perfumer, modern day perfumery, he did it in such a classy way manner here that really brings out the best and the fruitiness that you have here, the musks, a little bit of a vanilla touch, it is just, an incredible fragrance, guys. Again, if you want something that's uplifting, that is bright, effervescent, easy to wear, and just you like compliments, this is definitely a great choice. Next up, we're gonna darken things a little bit more. This is gonna be a little bit more mature. Uh, not old, you know, not aged, but definitely more mature. In fact, this is a newer fragrance. I believe it was released in 2019. It's an exclusive to Harrods of London, and this is simply called Harrods Parfum Pour Homme. Love the presentation, I mean, it's second to none when it comes to uh, these fragrances. And this one, guys, it's going to be a modern fougere. So you're gonna have your lavender here, you're gonna have a gorgeous vetiver note, a little bit of mint up top, which makes it, and geranium as well, which adds this nice crispness and uh, just bright and, and uplifting kind of a feel to the scent. And it has some old school vibe here with a little bit of an oak moss touch. So it's like the perfect balance between classy meets modern. Love the stuff, the vetiver here is great. It is absolutely a stunning juice. Roja Parfums, Harrods Prom. Not as easy to find here in America, but I absolutely love this. As you can see, I've worn a lot of this fragrance. And it's one that I reach out for the most. Elysium that I just talked about before is mostly for spring and summer. This one here is an all year round, something that I can wear when I'm dressed up a little bit like today. It's definitely going to enhance and complement any attire when you really wanna make your presence felt. This next up, guys, is arguably in my top three favorite rushes of all time. And the reason why, this is a straight out fougere. Uh, the one I talked about before, it's like a modern fougere, but it has a lot of modern elements in there, which really makes it easy to wear. This one here, not so much. You really need to have a taste for old school fragrance because this one here is called Danger. As you can see, man, I wore almost half of the bottle. This one here is like Davidoff Zeno meets Heritage from Guerlain. As you guys probably know, Roger worked for Guerlain, so he does borrow elements from classic, uh, old school, old world perfumery, and it's very present in this fragrance. Danger, like I said, it's like a fusion between Davidoff's Zeno in the way you get that lavender, spicy, cinnamon kind of a vibe with a leathery, rough and tumble, heart and dry down, which is very similar to Heritage and some old school leather fragrances like Derby, for example, from Guerlain. It is an absolutely stunning fragrance if you are one of those people that do appreciate old world greatness. This is great. Next up, guys, this fragrance, many mentions, many top videos, one of my favorite fragrances of all time. I've done Keep 10 for Life. This is definitely in the top five. 
It is just one of those scents that when I first smelled it, I was blown away. I was like, what is this thing? I must own this. And the fragrance I'm talking about is Raja Parfums Enigma or Creation-y. Sometimes you find it as Creation-y. This stuff here, guys, the bottle is almost pretty much less than half of the bottle is available here. And this is just a gorgeous trifecta of patchouli, cognac, and tobacco. It's got all the ingredients I love. It starts off fizzy like a Coca-Cola, like a, like a cognac and cola drink. It dries down to this tobacco Cinnabon kind of a vibe. It's really intricate, very complex. It hits you from all different angles. This is a true amber spice, or as we used to call it before, oriental woody spicy scent that is just breathtaking. Simple as that. And last but not least, this is definitely an amazing Raja fragrance. If you guys like old meets modern, this is a perfect interpretation of a modern day Shipra. The fragrance I'm talking about is Diaghilev. Now this stuff here, you guys probably heard about it in the fragrance world. It is a very powerful fragrance that it's very reminiscent of the old school classic leathery Shipra fragrance. It's got a beautiful floral heart, gorgeous elements like oak moss, bergamot, like all the main ingredients of a true Shipra are interpreted here in the most masterfully manner, guys. It is one of those incredible scents that it's unmistakably going to make you stand out in the crowd. It's, it's that simple. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. It's one of the most expensive ones from the house, but because I love old school Sheeper leathers, this is definitely, it scratches me exactly where I itch. When I have that hankering for old school greatness, I reach out for this fragrance, guys. It really turn heads. Ladies and gents, if you're getting into the Raja Dove Parfums fragrance world, I think these are great fragrances to get you started. Let me know in the comments if you watching this video have had you know, experience the brand, which ones are your favorite Raja Parfums, top three, top five. Let me know in the comments. I want to start a little chat with you guys. And as always, thank you so much for your support, guys. Keep the likes coming. Subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, stay tuned for a lot more fragrance. As always, guys, wear what truly moves you. And I'll see you right back here with another video very soon. Take care.